Broadcasting live, 2K Sports presents the NBA. It's Monday night. And tonight, it'll be the Memphis Grizzlies going up against the Dallas Mavericks. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson alongside. David Aldridge is with us from the floor tonight. A moment now to check out some numbers for Luka Doncic. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. Now, a look at Dallas' starting lineup. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. Powell is out there with Maxi Kleba, and it's Green in at the three. And for Memphis, the lengthy post tandem for him, Jackson and Adams. Morant is out there with Luke Kanon. And it's Aldama in at the three spot. Richard, some teams came into this season looking different than they did a year ago. And for teams that have added new players, is the feeling out process over? Well, it better be, go. Kevin. There's a good chunk of the season already gone. You hope at this point in time you've gelled with your teammates in the preseason. By now, the chemistry, well, it should be there. Now here's Morant. It's rebounded by Doncic. with a screen on Morant. Doncic feeling it out. Pocket six. Kennard against Hardaway. A three-pointer, no good. And here are the Grizzlies now. Kennard, the pass to Jackson. Misses the layup. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Fires the three, drills the three-pointer. Doncic has got the first bucket of the night, a three-pointer for Dallas. And he's got a good handle, excellent body control. Doncic is a threat to pull up from anywhere. And it's Morant missing. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing it's early. It's truly hard to exaggerate just how explosive Ja Morant is on the floor. No, because there is no exaggeration, Greg. It's just whatever you say and you see, it is impressive, and he is elite. For Memphis, they've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Hey, yo, right here. Little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Jackson down low. Kleba on him. The jump hook. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to start the game with four straight misses. Look, look, that's about as rough as it gets. It'll get going soon. I, I'm not sure what happened there. You, you, His family's in the building. I don't know. You have to finish those. Now here's Morant. Pass to Adams. Now Eldama launches a three. Kleba with the rebound. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Hardaway kicks to Powell. Outside, Green. Pass to Hardaway. Kleba sets the screen for Hardaway. Three-pointers off the mark. And so Moran will bring it up for Memphis. Still without a basket in the game. That one goes in. Ooh, little sweet touch on the floater. Moran has so many shots to choose from in his bag. Hard away against Kinnor. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Screen by Kleba. Hardaway passes to Kleba. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. Fires it up. 
It's hauled in by Adams. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Screen by Adams. Inside. And Adams with the slam. And it's so difficult to defend Morant in a pick and roll because not only can he get his own, but he can also create passing angles in very tight spaces. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. With the Grizzlies, Richard, we've heard about an emphasis on defense in the past few years. Yeah, and there has been some improvement. They were a middle-of-the-road type defensive team not too long ago. But the last few seasons, they have played impact defense. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Steven Adams. Williams comes in for Santi Aldama. Noel, he's checked in for Luke Kennard. And Smart subbed in for Morant. And then for Dallas, Grant Williams is checked in for Maxi Kleba. Hardy comes in for Green. And it's Seth Curry in for Doncic. Grizzlies on defense. And here's Hardy. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Hardaway. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Hardy passes to Hardaway. Dishes it to Curry. Now here's Hardy. Guarded by Smart. Very pretty alley-oop layup. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a path to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Now here's Smart. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. To the inside. Down to five on the shot clock. And Jackson with the basket on the assist from Smart. With a versatile offensive skill set, Jackson has shown the ability to do damage in the mid-range. From deep three-point territory. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And a closely contested grit and crying first quarter comes to a close. Mavericks lead by one. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And guys, what's your take so far on the Mavs? You know, I, I think they're going to be happy with how they played here early on. But they can't afford to get complacent because of the early success. There is still a lot of basketball to be played. 
Rich, we've all heard about some of the unwritten rules between players. Any examples you can speak on? Well, you don't want to be out there injuring each other. I think one of the biggest unspoken rules is you got to be very, very careful when a guy takes off how you hit them. That is something you learn at a very early age in basketball. On the court for the Mavericks, Curry and Doncic, the guard pair. Jones is out there with Williams, and it's Lively in at the five spot. What determination from Doncic pushing his shot through despite some stiff defense to draw the foul. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Roddy's checked in. He hits the second from the line. The all-around game of Doncic is impressive. A, a walking triple-double threat every night. Smart deciding where to go with it. There's Noel. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Noel's got the lead up to one now for the Grizzlies. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Williams. Scoreless thus far. Outside Curry. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Uh, thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body the angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook, thanks to the report. Curry with the steal, and it's the Mavericks on the break. And the dunk by Doncic. Oh, from ultra close range, Doncic. The Grizzlies trail by four. Pass to Clark. Fires from deep. And again, Memphis no good. The Mavericks have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Great for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. Uh, I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to... have to keep your guys happy sign them to smart extensions and the Grizzlies with possession here following the score by Dallas here's Jackson misses off the left iron Mavericks leading by six on Judge passes to Curry over smart it's Curry that time on the assist by Doncic. Curry's got his second basket of the night. And after that ragged first quarter, they're hitting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flow. Smart finds Noel. Here's Clark. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. You, you got to know this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. And the Mavericks call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time. 
for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Now they're shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Morant looking around. From deep. And the three ball is good. Morant's got five now. What a confident shot by Morant. Gets the hot pass and puts it right up. Morant against Curry. Powell dishes to Green. And there's the pass to Kleba. Hardaway against Kinnar. Hardaway, no good. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Here's Morant. Kleba with the rebound. Kleba's got his fifth rebound in this one. And so Curry will bring it up for Dallas. It's a five-point game. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. Now, here's Adams. He kicks it to Morant. Puts up a three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Consistency from deep is going to be the biggest determining factor in Morant's ceiling. If he gets that, I think we're going to see some MVPs in his future. Morant's against Curry. Powell, the pass to Green. Side Hardaway. Over Kanar. That one rolling around and runs out. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Mavericks ahead, up two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Jason, a hard-fought first half. How do you assess the game so far? We're going to need everybody. And the one thing we got to do is we can't settle. We got to keep attacking, get the ball in the paint. Use that length to your advantage. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. For the Hornets at Spectrum Center, they've got a tight one going on against Miami and still neck and neck there in the second quarter. Both teams playing hard. Love the intensity. All signs are is going down to the wire. And now looking at that first half of play, what a performance from the great Luka Doncic. After all he's done so far, he's going to have a big target on his back in the second half. They're going to throw the kitchen sink at him on defense. For pride's sake, they got to do something to slow him down. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action.
And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. The lengthy post tandem for him, Jackson and Adams. Luke Kennard out there with John Morant. And it's Aldama at the three, the small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Morant against Doncic. Morant outside. He dishes it to Jackson. Goes back up. And that one's good. Morant. Morant's got 10 points in the game. And this is who Ja Morant is. He just doesn't quit really getting after it on the glass. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thanks very much. Now, the Mavericks' all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, D.A., thank you. Now, here's Doncic. Tim Hardaway unable to get his last shot to go. And here we go. Best break in Morant's got. That one falls. Morant's got four points now in the quarter. It's been all about Ja tonight. Can score in so many different ways. It's hard to quantify how impactful Jaron Jackson Jr. is on D. Yeah, he does so much. Yeah, the rim protection is elite. That's why he was Defensive Player of the Year, Greg. But he can also switch out on screens and not look lost. The sky is the limit for him defensively. And here's Morant after Luka Doncic hitting the three. And Adams kicks to Morant. Tries again. Got a piece of it. Here's Green. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Now it's a six-point Dallas lead. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Passes to Kanar. Adams sets the pick for Kanar. Bangs home the trifecta. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Mavericks leading by three. Doncic outside with the drive. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got five rebounds tonight. Morant against Doncic. Drops in the layup for two. And now just a one-point Dallas lead. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. Dallas calls timeout.
ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. Well, you look at Doncic, and it's him all alone atop the voting. It's pretty much a done deal that he'll be showing off his long-range skills in the three-point contest. Yep, and, and he's going to be scary to have to go up against if he's on that day. Nobody can shoot it like he can when he gets in a groove. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Man, you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. Now here's Jackson. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Hard away against Kennard. Now here is Hardaway. Not a lot of room. Green finds Cleaver. Now here's Doncic. Off target from outside. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Hardaway against Kennard. For the lead. Out to Morant. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Here's a look at the schedule now for Dallas. On Tuesday, they'll go up against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. Then on Thursday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And for that game against the Trailblazers, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Tillman's checked in, and it's Clark in for Jaron Jackson. Powell dishes to Green. Clark against Kleba. Back to Green. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Green's got four points in the quarter. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Curry against Morant. Smart, wide open, he fires. Good, and the nice assist from Morant. Smart's got it all tied up now for Memphis. Morant against Curry. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Noel comes in for Luke Kennard. to Hardy. Dallas moving the ball around. Donchich outside. Six on the shot clock. Shoots it up. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Donchich has got 16 points. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Curry against Morant. it inside and it's blocked and they get it back and there's the shot clock violation couldn't get the shot off in time it's been all about Luka Doncic for the Dallas Mavericks he's been a major threat from three-point range got two of them to fall in that quarter and we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break
And now a sneak peek into the huddle with Coach Jason Kidd. It's not going to be easy. Come on. There's nothing is. It's not going to be right easy. Here. Let's go. Defense. One, two, three, defense. Right Jason Kidd moments ago in his huddle getting everyone focused and amped up to take on these next few moments. Yeah, and an emphasis really on forcing stops. Something Coach did very well back in his day when he was playing. Let's see if they can live up to his expectations. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. Curry and Doncic, the guard pair. Grant Williams is out there with Hardy. And it's Lively in at the pivot, panning the middle. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. Pass to Lively. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got three assists tonight. He's just adept at gutting the defense in these sets. Give Doncic a passing lane, and he'll thread the needle. Now here's Rhodes. Smart on the wing. Just four to shoot. Clark a screen on Doncic. That puts them in the lead. Noel's got the lead up to one now for the Grizzlies. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Now here's Hardy. Guarded by Smart. Hardy passes to Lively. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Boy, where is the effort defensively? You, you have got to put up a better fight. Yeah, these teams have kind of decided to fight this battle uh, on scoring alone. There's not that much intensity on defense. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Clark. Santi Aldama comes in for Smart. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Noel. And it's Morant in for Derrick Rhodes. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, I caught Taylor Jenkins' message to his team. The message was simple. Keep fighting. Coach told his team, we're in this. We just need some extra effort. Let's go. We'll see if they can come back. Kevin. Thank you, David. Jackson dishes to Morant. There's the lob to Jackson. An emphatic L.U. Jam. We love watching Jackson the receiving end of the L.U. He definitely won the effort.
We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Now here is Hardaway. The three for Doncic. The three ball from Doncic. He is just so clutch, saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. Kennard, the pass to Adams. Kicks to Morant. Fires from 18. And another basket for Memphis. Just taking what the defense gives and Morant keeping it simple on offense. I love it. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Morant against Doncic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one's on Morant. And so confident. Even amongst the trees, Doncic is fantastic at forcing the issue close to the rim. First one falls. All free throws good from Doncic. See, it's easy to see why his teammates trust him. He's a leader on this team and loves coming up huge in the clutch. Morant outside. Adams sets the pick for Morant. Drives to the hoop. Adams shot is off. They came close there to tying it up. You love the intensity out there right now. Close game. Both teams leaving it all out there. Morant outside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The confidence Morant has in himself is impressive. He brushes pressure off like it's nothing. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Gets the first, and that narrows the gap to one. From the free throw line, John Morant is good, but I think he wants to be great. Both free throws, good from Morant. Certainly some pressure on those free throws, but he's still delivered. Morant against Dungeon. Stolen by Jackson. Down low. Here's Kennard. Good. And a nice assist from Morant. Kennard's got the lead up to two now for the Grizzlies. 133 left in the fourth quarter. Doncic against Morant. The pass to Hardaway. Tries the spin move. For three. Sinks the triple. Hardaway has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Excellent at dishing the rod. Luca with the nice feed. Here's Moran. Doncic with the block. And he's able to get it back. And it's in there. Moran's got six in the quarter. Massive points from Moran. Willing to take the big shots. Morant against Doncic. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And one's on Morant. A primetime player. Doncic loves these moments. All eyes on Luka.
He knocks down the clutch free throw. And so making both free throws, that'll give them the lead here. And that's big there. Once he got the opportunity to get to the line and take the lead, you have got to convert. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're trailing by one. 50 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Grizzlies now. They trail by one. Morant passes to Eldama. Morant's against Doncic. Morant kicks to Jackson. Memphis moving that ball around. Five on the clock. Green against Morant. It's rebounded by Dallas. So, guys, it comes down to this. Time for your stars to shine. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. Second one is good. In both at the line, it's a three-point game. Wow, doing all he can to give them the edge, pulling their lead out to three points. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They trail by three. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Morant for three. And again, Memphis no good. And it's all about the three right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three-pointer is a must. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Cool, calm, and collected. Say that three times fast. He makes them all and puts this game away. Aldama up again, and it's Adams on the follow. I have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder. He did not pay attention. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. And so it's Dallas winning this one. A truly gutsy performance away from home.